Hey everyone, it's Miranda. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, for the first time, why don't you subscribe? Become the newest member of the Slashed Squad. I am back with another decluttering video. I asked you all last time which drawer you wanted me to declutter next, and it was an overwhelming response that you wanted me to go through my liquid lipsticks. I was both excited about this because I've been meaning to do it for a long time, but also overwhelmed because it was a mess. You all really seem to like these videos, so as long as you do, I will keep making them. This is only the third drawer that we have decluttered and there are nine in my Alex Tower. Also, I just want to address the fact that over the past few days I have hit 14,000 subscribers here on YouTube, 14,000 slash squad members. I am so honored for each and every one of you that not only subscribes but actually watches and engages with the content. Every comment, every thumbs up really matters. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. I think once we get to 15,000, I'm going to be doing a huge international giveaway. So tell your friends, stay subscribed, keep commenting. This one is definitely going to be a longer video just because you will see the state of this drawer. It was actually a two day filming process because I had to figure out how to organize what was left. So grab a drink, kick up your feet and enjoy this decluttering session. Are you ready for this? Da -na -na -uh. Yeah, I don't know what happened to this drawer. It's just a cluster. Actually, I do know what happened. Brands keep putting out liquid lipsticks and they keep going in this drawer. So that's that. Um, I've been needing to declutter this for a very long time. So this drawer is specifically liquid lipsticks, um, lip glosses. And then back here I have like a basket, which is lip pencils and like twist up crayon situation. So it's a shared drawer and we'll see if that still makes sense at the end of this but I really do just need to clear this out. I have so many that I haven't used in literally years. I have um, like limited edition stuff that you know I don't think would be of any use to actually use in my channel because you can't get it anymore. So let's just go ahead and clean this out. Now liquid lipsticks are definitely one of the harder things to like sanitize in terms of giving away. So most of this is going to go to like friends and family and not necessarily donating because this is going straight onto my mouth and then I'm dipping it back in the tube. So they do get contaminated. Um, and or I'll just recycle the packaging. So let's just get started, y'all. Okay, so here I see two that uh, I know for a fact that I'm gonna be keeping. These are the Maybelline uh, Superstay Matte Inks, and these are the shades 20, which is Pioneer, and 15, which is Lover. Now, I already know I'm gonna keep these, but I'll go ahead and do just a tiny swatch for you. Try to keep my swatches small because they go on stain, y'all, so that's Lover, one of my favorite for like every day and then here is pioneer which is just this beautiful blue based red keeping both of those now I will say I, I know that I have to get rid of a lot of my melteds some of them are even clogged up like this one I probably had the longest this is melted fig one of my old favorites it's just really damn old and again you can tell the shelf life of your makeup from this little symbol here uh, it looks like an open jar and it'll have the number of months or years years that you can keep a product after you've opened it. This one is 12 months and I definitely got this uh, three years ago, so that's definitely a toss. Here's another melted. Now, I do think I got this a little bit after that one, so it might not be as used up. This one is melted coral. Ooh, that's so pretty. This one I believe is newer though, so I might keep this one and the uh, holes aren't blocked. They're all coming out. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one. Okay, this is an e.l.f. lip oil and coral kiss. I'm like not a huge fan of this formula. It's very sheer. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and give this away. Now I do have these two new e.l.f. and Christian Siriano lippies. Um, these are a limited edition release. And this one I believe is a lip oil that I actually like because you'd get a little bit more pigmentation as you can see in this little swatchy swatch here. Lighter, but you do get more color on the lips. And this is Fuchsia. This one's a uh, liquid lipstick. So the other one was an oil. And then they also put out a liquid lipstick. And this one is just so bright and gorgeous for festival season and spring, so I'm gonna keep that. Cause they just came out, so hopefully I'll be able to work them into something soon. All right, this is a Bare Minerals liquid lipstick in the shade Flawless. And 
I believe this was also opened rather recently. I think I might have been looking at it for my wedding. Wow, these look very similar. Am I wrong? Did we just find a dupe? I honestly think we just found a dupe, y'all. So Bare Minerals Lipstick in Flawless, and then this one is the Maybelline in Lover. Here's another one of those e.l.f. lip oil things. This one is in Berry Kiss. This one's a little darker, so I wonder if I would actually like to keep this one. This one's actually kind of nice, because, see, the, the first one, uh, Coral Kiss, I feel like would just sink into my lip color, but this one would actually add a little bit of something, something. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and keep this. Okay, next I have one of these brand new uh, Melting Pout Glitzes from CoverGirl. It's one of their new releases, and I'm actually obsessed with this, so I already know I'm gonna keep it. This is in Double Platinum, and you can either wear this alone, or you can wear it over lipstick, which I've done both, and I just think it's such a cool finish. See, it's like literally silver sparkles. It looks so cool. So obviously going to keep that. Not doing too well on keeping versus purging quite yet. <laughs> oh, this was what I bought in Thailand. This was uh, from a brand called U-Star, the Plump Up Soft Matte Lip Lipstick Cream. Um, if you want to go watch my Thailand beauty haul, check that out. I'll leave it in a card up here. Um, but yeah, I, I bought a bunch of like makeup from Thailand and this was one of them. I actually quite enjoy that color. It's almost like a muted coral. So I'll go ahead and keep that. Okay, I have this, these old, old, old ColourPop Ultra Matte lips that literally you can't even see what they are anymore because they have rubbed off. But um, they're Love Bug and Donut, which I, I really believe these were one of the two that like I bought as my first ColourPop haul. So these are at least four years old. Oh, this is such a pretty color though. So this is Love Bug. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. Um, but yeah, you can kind of tell it's a little bit janky up in there. So I really do think that I need to toss these, especially donut I actually used up quite a lot. This was like my favorite from them from a long, long time. I can actually kind of feel the difference between these two as well. This one feels just like oilier, like the it's separating in the in the tube, so that's a toss. Another color pop. This one was actually from the Hello Kitty collection, so I believe I may have gotten this last year, question mark? When did the Hello Kitty collection come out? But you can tell that it's not really used from how, like, compared to the other ones, the writing is still intact. So this was Milk Bottle. Let's check it out in the swatch. Ooh, this is like liquidy. Is this a, yeah, this is an ultra matte lip. Ugh, such a beautiful shade. But look, like you can tell that I, I've definitely leaned towards this mauve pink. This one's a little bit more purple than Milk Bottle, but you can definitely, you'll be able to tell which shades I lean towards. Okay, so I have this OCC Lip Tart. Now, I've heard a rumor that OCC is going out of business. Is that true? Like, that's really sad. Um, but before they went out of business, I guess they put out these, like, ho not holographic, excuse me, uh, iridescent lip tars. This was this was probably a while ago, though. So this was, um, or Ind Indrid. Indrid, that's a name. So let's see what this looked like. I mean, you can kind of see it separating in the two though so probably not the best idea to keep it oh my gosh that's gorgeous though that's like a metallic purple when did I actually get this <laughs> I'm like, like double guessing just so I can keep the pretty stuff but I mean like I clearly never used this so I really need to be smart about this and see say what can I throw away because I never use it and I'm probably not going to use it in the future you know what I mean we have two more Maybelline Super Stay Matte inks now I am gonna keep my entire collection of these but I will swatch them for you just because they are one of the more long-lasting at the drugstore so this one is in the shade heroin which is like a really really bright orange I think it's actually just gorgeous and then this one is in Voyager. I almost wore this on my wedding day, but I decided to go neutral just for the sake of like timeless pictures. But this is just such a gorgeous burgundy. Love that. Actually, these look pretty dang similar. Do we find another dupe? So this one was the ColourPop in the shade uh, Love Bug. This one is Voyager from Maybelline. But I actually think in this instance, the ColourPop is cheaper. Have another melted. We really do need to clear most of these out. This is melted strawberry. I do remember this being one of my more new ones. Let's see how the 
the action of squeezing goes. Oh, I'm like squeezing really hard and barely any's coming out. Okay, there's one out of one hole, even though there's like, what, six? Yeah, I think this one's definitely a toss. You can even tell from the pigmentation that it's like, it's not, it's not all there anymore. Okay, here's another melted. This one is melted frosting. I believe this came out more recently. Oh look, so we have our holes that don't seem to be blocked. This one definitely has its creamy consistency intact. So this might be able to be kept. Kept, wow. Grammar Miranda. This one was like a little travel size one, Melted Chihuahua. I've worn the heck out of this one as well. This one's gotten a lot of use, as you can clearly tell. Let's see, it's all coming out still. Let's see. Yeah, I love this. It's like a brown kind of 90s vibe there. Ugh, I'm gonna keep it. Wow, I'm really not doing well so far. Um, okay, so we've got another melted over here, just trying to get most of these out of the way. This is melted sugar. Now, this one is actually just really light on me. So we have blocked, oh, no, there we go. They're coming out. All right, but this one it looks really, really light on my skin tone. So when I put this on my lips, it just kind of blanks them out. You can see how close that is to my skin. So it's not really, um, a flattering shade on me by any means, so. This one's a little darker though. This one is melted nude, and I feel like this one has more of a warm vibe to it. So we'll just swatch that in the middle, but yeah, most of those are blocked. Let's see. Just put that right in the middle. See, that one's like definitely warmer. You can like see it better than that. Um, actually, these look pretty similar as well. So that one was another melted, wasn't it? So as I'm getting deeper into this, I'm starting to see like organizers in here that I didn't even know were in this drawer. Like there's literal baskets that I could not access because of the craziness. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tip this over. Okay, let's just dive back in. Now this one I'm not, huge fan of. This is the Vivid Hot Lacquer from Maybelline. They were like these glosses that were supposed to be super pigmented and stuff, but I don't know, I just don't like how they wear because of how glossy they are. So this was in the shade Retro, which is a very nice deep brown, but I they're just not opaque, so they end up looking a little streaky. So yeah, not, not my cup of tea. Let's see what we have here. Oh, this one's the Vivid Mattes. These ones are actually really nice. Um, but you know, it's just kind of your run of the mill matte liquid lipstick here. Let's put this over here. Yep, just like a nice little mauve nude right there. Looks very similar to these ones actually. Um, here's another one of those Maybelline Super Stays, and this one is in the shade Dreamer. It's like a light baby pink, I think is gonna be really nice for the springtime. There we go. Actually, it's not really baby pink, it, it definitely has a nude nude feel to it. So I'll go ahead and keep that. As you can see, as we go along here, everything that was on top was like newer additions that I like. And then as we get a little bit farther down into this cacophony of stuff, we'll probably find more that I want to toss. Like for example, this is hella old. This is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Abu Dhabi. This was like the first soft matte lip cream that I ever bought, I think, probably from Ulta. This is another one that's kind of like brownish nude. Ooh, and it's like crusty. So that one's definitely gonna get tossed. These are pretty similar though. Oops, I just went into love bug by accident. But look, that was a melted, I believe, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. And then this one is NYX, so. Okay, next we have Liquid Catsuit. This is from Wet n Wild. It's a matte lipstick. I don't think I've ever used this, actually. I believe I just threw it in here with the intention of using it for a video. Oh my God, look how messy it is, ew. Okay, so this should just be like a normal, ooh, red. Ooh, that's actually really, really pretty. Okay, keeping that, because I've never used it, so might as well. So these I'm probably gonna toss just because they're pretty old. These are these Pixie lip oil things. What are they called even? And they don't have their name, but it's like one side's a gloss and one side's an oil, I think. So you can see that's just kind of like a translucent pink. This one is more of a fuchsia, that one's a gloss. And then this one's like orange and brown, giving super 70s vibes here. And they're not like 
awful. They're actually really pretty and comfy, but they're just kind of old. And then this brown one. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so here is a NYX Liquid Suede, one of their more bold shades. Sorry that my camera keeps like zooming in and out. Um, so this one is in the shade Run the World, a nice bold purple. And I feel like I have to keep that for times where I just want to show off my inner diva. This one, on the other hand, I haven't, I've, I've like worn in photos, but I've never actually had the courage to wear out. This one is also the liquid suede, um, but this is in the shade Little Denim Dress, and it is just like this crazy Pokemon blue or something. Like, that's not, that's not of this earth, but um, it's definitely a fun shade if you like really bold, opaque liquid lipsticks. This one is for sure a must pick up, but uh, for me, I really have not been able to find a look to incorporate it well in. Oh, oh my gosh, so this is a Lime Crime Velveteen, and it is in the shade Red Velvet. My friend got it for me for one year for the holidays, I think, or my birthday, and it's, I haven't worn it in a really long time, but these are pretty dang long wearing formulas, but I believe it's time to get rid of this just because it is old. But check it, oh look, <gasps> did we find another dupe y'all? So this is the Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit. This is Red Velvet Velveteen, which is like what, $22 from Lime Crime? Wet n Wild is what, four? Wow, you know what? We are just discovering things today. But anyway, yeah, I do think I have to get rid of this just because it's been years. Now I'm actually kind of bummed because this line um, is already moving out of stores. I didn't realize how limited edition they were actually making these because I feel like they just came out, what, the end of last year? I did a whole video on the Love Out Loud um, launch because I really liked the colors that, that came with them. But I believe you can still get this on the actual NYX website. So this is the Love Out Loud. Um, this one is the shade Brave. And I just love that cool purple vibe. But I really don't like hanging on to a lot of limited edition stuff, like I said, because I don't feel like it does you any favors when I use them in like tutorials and stuff. Um, if, if you feel differently, please let me know. Be but I usually decline a lot of limited edition stuff because I feel like if you end up watching the video later on, you can't get it anymore, that it's kind of just like annoying. Um, but let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and try to clean this off before we have too much staining. Coconut oil to the rescue, y'all, because this was not, not gonna work any other way. All right, so I have this mighty fancy Burberry liquid lipstick that I got in PR. This is in the shade uh, number 49 in the liquid velvet. Oh, Bright Plum is the official name of it. I feel like I have to keep stuff like this because they're so expensive, but I never use them because they're so expensive. This is a very creamy liquid lipstick though. Um, I actually wore this, I believe, in one of my menstrual cup videos and I always get comments on it, so. Unfortunately, it's a really expensive lipstick. Okay, here's another ColourPop that is just not even like distinguishable from the brand. This is in Bumble, another one from my literal first ColourPop haul. It's a really beautiful like terracotta reddish brown shade, but definitely Definitely too old to own. What do we have here? Oh, this is one of the Flirt Cosmetics. Whatever happened to them? Like, they came back with a fierceness and then they disappeared again. This is the Move a Mouth in Badass. I actually really like this formula because it's super thin. I like thin um, liquid lipsticks because I feel like you can build them up to whatever coverage you want and they're more comfortable, they're not sticky or anything, so that's badass. Another like brownie mauve situation going on. Here's another color pop that, oh my god, I was dro like drooling over the shade when it came out. This is in Marshmallow, but look at, again at the wear on this tube. I actually did get a few great uses out of this. Oh, and something's happening up here. There's like pigment pooling up at the top. That's weird. Look at that, it's like such a cool gray purple moment. Do you remember when that was like the thing to wear were grayish lipsticks? Um, that was definitely my go-to. Wow, we're really getting down to the bottom and look what I'm finding, another organizer that I did not know existed. <laughs> Here's another ColourPop, this is in Times Square. This I believe was more recent than some of the ones you're seeing, but again, very worn looking. 
This is a really pretty neutral shade though. And I don't think this was limited edition. I do believe they still have this. And let's go for this other soft matte lip cream. This is in Transylvania, which was super big like as soon as the oxblood trend started. And look at that. Oh, this is like such a beautiful vampy lip. Oh my gosh. It's actually a little streaky now probably because how old it is, but... Gosh, that's gorgeous. Here's another, oh, what the heck is this little ultra glossy lip? I have this little like sample. What the heck? I don't even know where I would have gotten this. Oh, this is a pretty neutral gloss. Maybe I'll keep that. It's not keeping up a lot of space in my collection. Okay, here is an old Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip color. When the heck did I get these? Oh my gosh, I wouldn't even be able to tell you. Let's swatch them. These like caused a huge controversy because they weren't actually matte, but I still really loved the formula and it was more like a soft matte, which I feel like is becoming super popular. But look at that. That's a beautiful shade. This one is called Devotion. Oh my gosh, they smell so good. But yeah, again, this one is hella old. Here's an intense butter gloss. This is a glossy formula, but it's supposed to be, have like a lot of pigmentation. I'm just not a gloss girl, y'all, but look at that. I mean, it kind of looks more like a liquid lipstick, huh? Here's another intense butter gloss, but this one's like hella intense. Why am I saying hella so much? Like, I'm not even from NorCal. Okay, so here is more of an orangey vibe or a coral vibe. So I think that'll be pretty for spring. What do you guys think? Look how red my arm is getting. Okay, let's keep going. Here's another old melted, and this is in Melted Velvet. This one's so pretty. Let's check out. Let's do little uh, test here. Ooh, oh dear. Oh my. Wait, let's shake this. No, it's like super separated. Ooh, no thanks. I really, really like these. I'm hoping to keep most of the ones that I have open. These are the Healthy Lip Liquid Lipsticks from Physicians Formula. I have a post swatching every single one of these. Check it out. I'll leave the link below. Um, but these are just really nice matte liquid lipsticks that last really well. They're super comfortable. So this one's called Raisin. I just love that shade. It's like a darker kind of mauve brown. Oh yeah, this one is definitely an awesome everyday one. This one is called All Natural Nude. Let's check that out. And these are also relatively very new, so I'll be keeping these. Check that out, such a good shade. Here's another one of those NYX Love Out Louds. I really do think I'm just gonna have to toss most of these, um, although I might go ahead and keep this one because it's like my favorite color. Um, this is in the shade uh, Fearless, and I just, my lavender's always been my favorite color and having a lavender lipstick doesn't happen all the time. Check that out. Oh, so gorgeous. I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna give this fuchsia-ish one to a friend. Oh, definitely gonna keep this. It's not anything I can swatch for you, but it's lip insurance. It is uh, basically a lip primer from Too Faced. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep that because it's so good, so, so good. Um, here's another Burberry, which again, do you ever feel pressured to keep stuff that you don't use just because it's expensive, but you don't use it for the exact same damn reason? This is a really pretty nude as well, but oh my gosh, I have so many of the same color. Here is, oh, this one's actually very new, so I will be keeping this. This is the new CoverGirl Melting Pout Matte, and this is in the shade Coral Chronicles, which I think is really, really nice, kind of year-round, because it's not super bright coral, but check this out. See, it's, it's not like super coral. I would say it's like dusty coral. So really, really love that shade. I actually just wore this in an Instagram. Oh, here's another Maybelline Super Stay in the shade Believer. I'll just give that a quick little swatch for you. Really pretty purple. Okay, I have one of these Lancome shakers. And you're supposed to like shake them up and then the color shows up on this thing, and then you kind of like dab it onto your lips like this. It's kind of like gimmicky, but the shade is cute and it's expensive. <laughs> so again, with this dilemma, here's one of those Vivid Hot Lacquers from Maybelline. This one's like a dark blue, which I thought would be kind of cool. It's just not a flattering blue on my skin tone. I think because of like the green, green undertones to it or the yellow undertones to it, yeah, it's just a little, a little weird. Here's another um, ColourPop in Tiny Chum, another one from Hello Kitty, which I think they probably just had like way better packaging on these because these have been laying around here too and they don't look as old as some of my other ones, but Tiny Chum, another kind of grayish, it's just kind of a muted 
mauve color there. But again, you can't get this anymore. Would you even want me to use it in a tutorial? Here we have a City Color B Matte Liquid Lipstick. I actually really love this formula and I forget to use these, but they do have really, really good colors. This is Crunk. I did a collaboration with this brand to create like a bundle where you could get a bunch of their products at like a discounted rate. Um, that was last year during Fame Expo and this was one of the shades I chose because it's just this gorgeous like deep reddish brown that I love year round. Many people might consider it more of a fall color, but these last, these last a long time. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep that. We're making progress. This isn't taking nearly as long as I thought it would, but we definitely have a ways to go. Uh, what is next? This is still super overwhelming to look at. We've got another container that we should just get rid of here. All right, here's another one of those Revlon uh, Ultra HD Matte Lip Colors. This one is in the shade. Who knows, because it's not marked. Isn't that weird when brands decide not to mark their crap? Anyway, it looks like a nice strawberry red shade. Ooh, yeah, that's pretty, but again, these are, I don't even remember how old these are, so that probably means they're too old. Also, I got a comment in my last video talking about how like, oh, you know, I, I always use expired makeup and nothing's ever happened to me. Like, that's awesome for you guys if you have gone this long using products past their safe time span. However, you are risking infections, you're risking bacteria. So, you know, again, do that at your own risk. I like to keep it a little bit safe, um, especially with things like eyeliner and mascara. Like, pink eye is not a good look, guys. So here's another Love Out Loud. This one is in Confident, and I feel like this looks like a ton of shades that I've already kept. Oh, JK, this one is really light. That looks like a concealer. Okay, that's not, <laughs> probably not the best for my skin tone. This one looks like it would have worked better for me. This one is in the shade um, Brilliant. This is the shade that I have in like every single other brand. Yeah, like the brownie, mauve I have it. Let's just move on. Here's another few color pops to get through. Who knows what this was, but it was in the shade Wrap. Oh, that's pretty. That's another like grazy one, huh? This one was Hutch, so I think this was a 2016 fall collection. The one that I did like a whole haul video on. You can tell that they had like different applicators too. They're not like as fluffy. Ugh, that is freaking beautiful. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. I'm gonna keep it. Sorry, not sorry. This looks like a similar color though. This is a Jordana Sweet Cream Matte. These are relatively new liquid lip color. These are so affordable at the drugstore. I feel like Jordana is such um, an underrated brand. Oh yeah, that's actually pretty close. It's a little bit more like red though, and Hutch was more purple. Okay, here's another city color. This one is in the shade No Duh. Yeah, that's really pretty. I'm gonna keep that. I should really start using these more because they're so affordable and a really good formula. What is this? What happened to this ultra glossy lip that it got like weirdly separated? You can see the pigment in there and then you can see like the gloss part. So probably past its prime. Vivid Matte Liquid, which I'll probably keep because I do like this formula. Orchid Shock. This actually looks like the, um, what's the newest color of the year? It's ultraviolet, right? This kind of looks like it. Beautiful, look at that bright shade. Let's kind of clear out some more of these city colors. So this one is in the shade Kewl. I really like that color. Like you can tell with all of my freaking liquid lipsticks are the same color. This one is in Home Slice. It's a purple, like a deep purple. Definitely want to keep this just because like sometimes I toss dramatic looking stuff thinking I'm never ever going to use them and then there comes a day where I'm like, oh my gosh, I could have totally used that thing that I threw away. I think that's what makes people hoarders. Am I, am I wrong? Here's another one of those lacquers that are dark and glossy that I don't really like. And slay it. Oh my gosh, this one's really dark. Let's see what this looks like. This is like practically black. Oh my gosh. Maybe it would look kind of good on the lips. All right, we'll keep it. All right, we still have a few color pops to get through. Um, 
Oh, they are all the Hello Kitty ones. So this one is a gloss, and I'm not a huge fan of glosses. Um, this one was in the shade Trinkets, so that was limited edition. This is in the shade Lock Diary, which is like a fuchsia. That was limited edition as well. Now this one I, I actually might keep because it is just such a beautiful red, and I know I have swatched other matte red lips. This is in Ribbon, and it's just such a pretty, pretty, blue based red. Again, they really stepped up the packaging for this particular line. Look at that. It's just the tone of red is so pretty. What else we got here, fam? Oh, here is a Too Faced Melted Matte. This one was from the Candy Johnson collaboration. Now, I remember this not being the most flattering pink on me for some reason. Let me check it out. It's like every other freaking color I own, <laughs> but this one's relatively new, so I'm not gonna toss it. But for some reason, I wonder if it oxidizes. Let's keep our eye on that because I remember wearing this and feeling like it didn't look good on me. Okay, here's Lipland uh, in Baked. I'm actually not really familiar with this brand, but I believe I got this at like Generation Beauty or something. This is like a brown. Yeah, that's pretty. I feel like I'm still doing pretty well in terms of like what I've kept and what I've tossed. I feel like it might be even equal right now. Did we already keep one of these? I know I have doubles of some of these City Color liquid lipsticks because I worked with them. So did we already swatch this? I don't think so. This is Talk to the Hand. Don't want to keep too many reds though. Okay, those are definitely different, so I don't feel as bad. Here's another red. This one's from Jessie's Girl. Oh my gosh, have you tried the Jessie's Girl Matte Finish Lip Color? Because they actually are amazing and cheap. So find them at Rite Aid, also on Amazon. Oh no, this one's cracking though. Check that out. This is another one that it's like a very thin formula, and I feel like it lasts for freaking ever. Yeah, that's really pretty. I actually have a few more of those Jessie's Girl lip colors. Let's oh, check them out. This one is in the shade Sassy. And it is so sassy because it's like a Barbie pink. So this is Sassy. Beautiful like Barbie pink. This one is Sweetie Pie. Ooh, that is bright. Maybe that's Barbie pink. Which one of these is Barbie pink? This is another Jessie's Girl. This one is in the shade Feisty. It's another purple one. In fact, I feel like this may be a good dupe of that NYX one we tossed because that was limited edition. It makes me happy because this is a permanent color. I just saw this. I have another Burberry one. I didn't even know about this one. This one is called um, number 53. Ooh, that's pretty. It's so bright eye. <sighs> Here's another NYX. This one's just the regular butter gloss, which is such a fan fave, but I'm not a huge fan of, especially in these lighter shades that tend to look a little streaky on my skin. And this one I know is way too light for me, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Oh, here's another one. This one's called Oh Snap from City Color. Just have so many of these. This one looks like a little bit of a darker red. That one's pretty. Here is LA Colors Matte Liquid Lip Color. I don't know if I've ever actually used this in a video or anything, but it's another one of these like burgundy shades. Let's check it out. Ooh, that's pretty. That's definitely darker, I feel like, than the other two. And a little bit more of a wet formula. Wow, even, I feel like this could even be a dupe of that. And this one's even cheaper. You can find LA Colors at the at the dollar store, actually. Oh, here's another Jessie's Girl. This is the one that I use the most, and it's called um, Angelic. Another one of those just kind of everyday nude shades, but that's definitely the one I use the most out of all the ones I have. Here's another Healthy Lip from Physicians Formula. This one is in Healthy Beat. It's a really pretty kind of, I don't know what I want to say, like plummy pink. I can't really describe this shade. It's really, really pretty. We have another one of these Love Out Loud. So like I said, I think you might still be able to get these on the NYX website, but I'm not sure for how long because they've already taken them off of the Ulta Beauty site. So this is another purple. What is this? Oh, note. This is a lip gloss, which eh, I don't know if I want to keep another red lip gloss, but Note Cosmetics is super underrated. They sell Note at Ulta Beauty. They actually have really great affordable products. And check out this lip gloss. It actually goes on more like a liquid lipstick. Here's another one of those Flirt liquid lipsticks, and this one's in Rosebud. Like I said, I did enjoy the thinner formula of these, but I haven't heard anything from the brand in so long. What's going on with them? Where are you, Amber Rose? ColourPop Hello Kitty Glossy Lip. This one's actually really pretty. Check this out. It's like pink with gold shimmer in it. 
That is a really cute gloss. I just never wear anything with that much shimmer though. Oh, here's one of the new CoverGirl Katie Cat glosses. I'm actually really enjoying this gloss formula. I'm not a fan of gloss, as you've seen with a lot of these swatches, but this one just came out and I'm actually really, really enjoying it. Um, I am working with CoverGirl on a few sponsored Instagrams. Um, they don't know that I'm talking about this in this video, but anyway, this gloss is so pigmented, just like a liquid lipstick, but you are getting that glossy finish, so it's like very high shine. Um, and it's not sticky at all. It's very nourishing and hydrating, so if you see these in stores, pick them up because uh, I really like them. And of course, hello. Look at that. So cute. Meow. I love Bite Beauty. I haven't seen them around in a long time, although I believe the current Sephora birthday gift is from Bite. Um, this is Cur Royale, one of their liquid glossy lipsticks, whatever. This now is a sticky formula. I will say that. And with that said, it does kind of leave a slight stain. It does hang on there, but it is sticky. Here's my, my trusty Gerard Cosmetics in 1995 liquid lipstick. I will swatch it, though you probably know what it looks like. It's definitely that 90s brown vibe right there. Now, I just did a post about these. They're the new Pixie um, Matte Last Liquid Lips. There are five in the collection currently, which I all have, and I actually really like this formula. It's definitely not as long-lasting as some of the other products I've tried at the drugstore or for the price point, but I just really love how they feel on the lips. They're so comfortable, super pigmented, and just easy to apply. This one was in the shade Matte Beige, FYI. That was this one here. I know sometimes I forget to tell you what I'm swatching watching and you guys get pissed. So this next one is an Au Naturel, which is kind of like a corally nude. Isn't that pretty? So yeah, I am keeping all these because I just got them and I actually really enjoy them. Where are the other ones? Oh yeah, this one. I actually think I have one in my purse, so sorry. Um, but this one is really rose. Isn't that just so pretty? Okay, and this one is called Pastel Petal. They definitely lean very neutral in this collection. The darkest one is like a dark rose color. Um, but yeah, they're very nice staples to have. Got some more healthy lips to swatch for you. This one is in Fight Free Reticles. So punny. And my arm is just dying. So we've got another red liquid lipstick. Might have to revisit some of these reds and see what I can get rid of. And another red. This one's Kat Von D. You know what's so interesting? And I, like, you'll see, I have a lot of them in my collection. Well, maybe not a lot, but quite a few. Because I keep giving these a shot and they just don't last on me. Like, they're the everlasting li liquid lipsticks and I don't know how to get them to last on me. I always have fading in the middle of my mouth within like three hours and I just, what am I doing wrong? So, sorry, that one was Nosferatu. And then here we have Armageddon, which is the pink, and then Mother, which is kind of like the mauve one. I really do like Mother. That one's really pretty, but the thing is, is like I don't wear these for when I need all day color. I wear them just for the shade itself because I don't know, they just, the formula does not agree with my lips. All right, what have we got next? Here's some more NYX going on. Uh, the Soft Matte Lip Cream in San Francisco. I don't remember when I got this. Ooh, that's nice. That's a nice little nude number. Oh, what's going on here? Another B Matte. This one's an ASL. This looks very light. I don't know about this. This is a very light brown. All right, another healthy lip from Physicians. This is in Tulip Treatment. That's what that looks like, Tulip Treatment. Very pretty for spring. What else we got from Physicians? This one is a darker one called uh, Nourishing Plum. Nourishing Plum, excuse me. Gotta get that pun in there, right? Ooh, that's a lovely vampy shade. Here is another NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Sugar Plum. Super bright purple here, but again, I never ever wear these. This comes off very lavender, but very translucent as well, so I don't really think this adds a lot to the lips. We've got a few left of these physicians. This one is called Coral Minerals. Here's Coral Minerals. That's a really pretty, like, kind of dusty coral, really. Here we have Nutritious. This is probably my most worn from the Physician's Formula Healthy Lip Line. Here is Nutritious. Kind of a darker brown. This lighter pink is called Bear With Me. 
really pretty. This kind of like reddish orange, this one is called uh, Red Storative Effects. This one's more of like a brick red. And then finally, we have Berry Healthy. That one's actually, I think that's less berry than it is mauve. Can we be real? All right, so we've got another one of these Jordana Sweet Cream Mattes in Creme Brulee. I'm realizing that I'm actually kind of boring because I have so many of the same dang shade here. So much excitement. Oh my gosh, I forgot this one last healthy lip. Fooled ya. This one's in Dose of Rose. That's really pretty too. Uh, got another B matte. This one's so bright. I've never worn anything this bright like on purpose. <laughs> this one's in the shade as if and like wow, that's bright. Oh, here's another Kat Von D. This one is in the shade Plath, as in Sylvia. Or maybe just brown. It looks red brown on the outside, but this looks more just regular brown. Another NYX uh, Soft Matte Lip Cream. This one's in the shade Copenhagen. I, I think at one point I just tried to buy all the vampy NYX shades at once, so that's what this is from, but very old, so I am gonna have to toss that. Oh, I have this little like Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick. I have no idea. I think I got this in like a Birch Box or something, um, or a Birch Box event that was last year. Last year, was it? I don't know, oh no. But check this out, really pretty for summer, and these do last. I've, I've worn these to the club, and they, they hang on there. Okay, so I have a couple of these Revlon glosses that just came out that they've sent me, and these are the ones I've been using the most, definitely on the nude side. <laughs> okay, they're called lip creams. I would equate them most to glosses just because of the finish, but they are kind of like um, like an in-between of lipstick and lip gloss. So yeah, they have just this really nice glossy finish to them, lots of nice color, um, very comfortable, but they do kind of transfer and stuff, which is where I get the gloss from on top of the shiny uh, finish, but they're just really pretty, especially like on their own, or you can even try to put them over lipsticks. These were the shades, and I'll go from left to right. This one was Nude Honey, the middle one was Cashmere Cream, and then this one here is Barely Blush. Barely Blush is probably my favorite. And there's another healthy lip. These never end. This one's in the shade Magenta, Magenta, Magenta Formula. Um, try to get it like right in the middle of my arm, hey? Ooh, that one's pretty. That's gonna be nice for summer and festivals and whatnot. Here's another Vivid Hot Lacquer, which seems to have maybe leaked or something. Like, there's oil right here that feels really bizarre. Um, all right, let's just swatch it. Ooh, this one's actually pretty. Huh, maybe this will be the one that I actually keep because that's pretty and really opaque. All right, next up, we have a bunch of these um, Makeup Forever Artist Acrylics. They are lip paints. I have a bunch from when they sent them to me at some point. Probably have used a portion of them, but they kind of have these um, melted Too Faced vibes. This one is in the shade 401. I don't think they have like names printed. Oh my gosh, that's pretty. Yeah, these definitely give me like melted vibes. Yeah, I haven't used any of these really, so they're still in good condition. This one's this bright orange. I thought it'd be really good for Halloween. It's called 300. Oh my gosh, should we deflower this? Oh my god, it looks so pretty. I don't, I kind of don't want to ruin it because it's clean, but oh my gosh, should I use it? Should I not? Okay, we're gonna use it for the first time. Oh, how satisfying was that, fam? Oh wow, that's gorgeous. That's a really awesome orange. Okay, was it worth it? Was it worth deflowering that one? All right, here's 400. This one looks kind of like a pinky red. Oh my gosh, it's another one I haven't used. Oh, so satisfying. Beautiful, yeah, this one's like a rosy red. This next one is in 500. That one's so pretty. That one's such an ultraviolet. Okay, this one we have 201. Looks like a fuchsia, another one that we're deflowering today. Let's get like a really, really good shot of this. It's just like super oddly satisfying. Ooh, did you see that? That's pretty. Um, okay, here is 200. Looks like a bright pink, baby pink. Very cute. This one looks like a corally orange. This one's in 301. Yeah, that one's, I feel like, a little bit more wearable than this really bright one. A couple more. This one is 202, kind of a rosy pink. That's a really cool shade. That's like a 
bright coral. Here's a vampy one on this one's 501. That one's nice. So then I have this acrylic liquid stain, which I have used. This one's a little bit of a thinner, creamy formula here. Really, really bright. It looks kind of similar to this, but this one's gonna be a little bit more long lasting. So next we have the Smashbox liquid lipstick. This is the uh, B Legendary Longwear Lip Lacquer in Bordeaux. This was another one that I was testing out for my wedding because I really have this idea in my head of wearing um, a wine color on my lips, but this one just translated really brown and streaky and it's like more of a gloss than a liquid lip Not really my jam. You can kind of see the streakiness of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that All right, then we have another Jordana sweet cream. This is in the shade cinnamon toast That's such a pretty brown. So there's cinnamon toast right there. Definitely keeping that. Um, I have this Mac dazzle glass and it's in Obviously, you've never used it because it's still in the box, but check that out. And like, I know I say that I'm not one to wear a lot of glitter on my lips, but I saw this and I was just like, oh, so pretty. But that's what that looks like. Oh, there was another acrylic that we did not use. This one's like a really deep purple. That out, oh my gosh, this is almost black. This is 600, it's like a black purple. Okay, these are some of my favorites. I feel like I've had them maybe for a year now, maybe a little bit longer. But anyway, these are the Artist Liquid Mattes. Um, these are one of my favorite high-end liquid lipsticks, or maybe my favorite high-end liquid lipsticks because they just are so pigmented and these, these last a long time. So this one is in the shade 101. This one is 105, kind of a gray situation, grayish. This one is 203. This one might be my favorite. This is in 109. And then we have 107. This one's not super flattering on me. Kind of this gray brown situation. And then we have 103. That one's so, so my alley, is not. Oh, you guys, we have finished. Oh my gosh, look at my arm. I'm gonna have to soak it in coconut oil. Okay, I'm gonna just clear this out and then find some way to organize it. All right, everyone, so it is a couple days later because I actually had to go and figure out a better way to organize the liquid lipsticks that I had left after the declutter. Here is what I figured out and it was really cheap to do. Okay, so here is my current liquid lipstick organization and collection. I still feel like I have a lot, but because they are better organized, um, it's a lot easier to look at. So basically what I've done is I have six of these votive candle holders that I picked up from Dollar Tree. So each of these were only $1. They are glass. This is exactly what I was looking for. I couldn't believe I found them at Dollar Tree because you really need something with high enough sides to contain the taller liquid lipsticks as they stand up. Um, the one thing is, is that they are a little heavy because they're glass, so I did only get six of them, and then for the rest of the drawer, I went with these plastic baskets, which you may have seen in my other declutter videos. They are three for 97 cents at Walmart. I live for these. They are in almost every single drawer in my Alex tower. And then I have two baskets in back, and again, just like I've said with most of my other declutters, my biggest complaint about the Alex drawers is that they're still so much much drawer um, when you've pulled this out completely that is covered, that's a little bit hard to reach. So the only problem I guess that I'm having with this drawer and the way that I've organized it is if I do want to really get into, so there's a whole other basket you can't even see that's like behind this one. Um, if I want to get into that and really look through it, I probably have to take this out and then pull it out like that. I don't have a lot of room to expand. I feel like I have to do a second round of decluttering, right? Um, otherwise, I'm just gonna have to dedicate a new drawer to more liquid lipsticks because the way that I have this now, um, there's really not, not a lot I can do unless I want to buy another three of these votives and have them in the middle and then this will all probably be like in one and then I'll have two empty ones. I'm just a little bit worried about the weight because again, these are glass, they're kind of heavy, especially as they're filled and this drawer, while it is one of the bigger ones in the Alex, it's four drawers up. So I'm a little worried about having too much weight in here, which is another reason why I think I might just bring my 
liquid lipstick collection to the bottom drawer. But this currently is all of palettes that I have, which may or may not be my next declutter video. Let me know what you want to see next time. And that is it. I still feel like I have a lot, but it's definitely more under control than it was. I hope you agree. Or did I just completely fail that drawer? Just let me know. Also, let me know which drawer you want me to declutter next. I showed you a little sneak peek of what my palette drawer looks like, and I definitely need to go through that. I also have my foundations and concealers that I need to go through as well as my eye makeup and brow makeup and then I have another drawer full of eyeshadow singles that I really need to go through. So take your pick, leave it in the comments, hit thumbs up if you are obsessed with decluttering videos. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button or click my face right there. If you want to see another one of my declutters, hit the box here and for another video you might like for my channel, check it out here. I make new videos every Saturday, sometimes in the middle of the week and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!